All right, Dr. Starr, I know your company is an oncology company. I've known it pretty much from day one. So when I understood that you had something that's a COVID-19 treatment, I was thinking, is this just some sort of wonder drug you have? Because right now, the treatment for, you should tell us, acute respiratory disease distress syndrome is like nothing. Yeah. Now, you have to understand that what happened to is we were, you know, at the time when COVID was hitting eight, eight months ago, uh, it became clear to us that we knew from the very beginning that one of our cancer drugs, Vera 111, had the ability to be, as you mentioned, an anti-inflammatory and an antiviral. And the reason it does that, it does the same thing in cancer, is that it, it breaks down the transportation system within the cell. As you know, viruses hijack uh, cells to make more viruses, and it does that by going down that highway system like a car and goes in and comes back out and puts out a bunch of virus. But guess what? Inflammation does the same thing. What it does is those normal cells, those inflammation cells, they take bags of cytokines, that stuff that causes mm -hmm. that distress syndrome, respiratory distress syndrome, and dumps it out. But how does it do that? It's got to go through that same highway system to get on the outside cell and dump it out. So when it dumps it, so when you take a drug like Vera 111 that disrupts the highway system, breaks it up, then virus can't get in and, and inflammatory stuff can't get out. And so we thought maybe that would make sense for us to go after COVID-19. And we kept it low key because even though the preclinical work, the, the work in um, you know, looking at an antivirus right. would make right. sense and looking at the inflammatory response, we actually looked preclinically to see if we had an effect on that, we did. But you know, at the end of the day, it's what happens in humans. And we went right into the lines then. We said, the way to show this is to take patients that are ill uh, with severe COVID-19. Patients who have been dying, basically, right? I mean, this is the That's end right. of the line some for are on a lot ventilator. of people. Absolutely. Some are on the ventilator. They're on oxygen. They're what we call WHO5 severity, which is, you know, which is very, very high. And they're on oxygen. They're in the hospital. And, uh, and, and we were able to you know, show some really hard endpoints. So, for example, a hard endpoint is death. And so we showed a reduction in death of 30%. Uh, in, uh, excuse me, reduction of death from 30% in the placebo arm to 5.3% in the treatment arm. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.